What it do, my moochins? Good morning. <laughs> so we made it to our fourth port, which is Skagway, Alaska. Yes. And today we do have an excursion, which is why I'm in this getup, because you know I'm dying in this hoodie. Whatever, son. <laughs> but I'm so excited for this excursion, because somebody isn't. So first, it's a helicopter ride, and that helicopter ride is going to take us over some snow-covered mountains. And then after that, we're doing a dog sled. Yes. So I'm expecting it to be a little cold out there with the dog sled ride, but I'm looking so forward to that. Whatever, son. <laughs> anyway, before all that, we're here in the town of Skagway, and most likely we're going to stop by a couple of breweries so I can get wasted. Breweries? And I Yes, so I don't feel the helicopter ride. Oh my gosh, I didn't even know there was breweries out here. Of course, what do you think we're heading to? Oh, I thought we were just walking around and going to show you guys the town. That was my idea. And the breweries. And the breweries. So that's what we got scheduled for today. So before we get to that, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, and vamanos. <laughs> The moment you get off the ship, you'll see a bunch of buses. They're called Smart Bus, and they take you anywhere in Skagway. And you best believe we took the bus, because we're lazy. The Smart Bus is only $2 per ride. But if you want unlimited rides, you can pay $5 and ride the bus as many times as you want. This town has that old Western movie atmosphere, like a Clint Eastwood movie. It was a very famous town back during the Gold Rush. Skagway is also preserved as part of the Klondike Gold Rush National History Park. That's a lot of words to say. <laughs> and today there are still gold-related stores, tours, and shows. Well, that's a fancy camera. Oh, that's one of those really fancy ones. Wow. <laughs> that is so cool. I've never, I've only seen them on the YouTube. Thank you, thank yeah. you. So this is the Days of 98 show with Sophie Smith. It's been running since 1923, making oh, wow. it one of the longest running shows in the United States. Oh, wow. But it tells all about Sophie Smith. Have you heard of him yet? No. no. He was a notorious con man who came up here during the gold rush and took over this town literally overnight. Within one year, he rose to great fame and popularity and then was shot to death in the streets. Oh, no. So we tell all about the last couple days of his life lead, leading up to the fight that killed him, mm -hmm. all told from his skewed perspective <laughs> uh, on life. But uh, it's really neat. It's vaudevillian in style, so it's got can-can dancing, ragtime music, and just that some good old fun. Cool. It's fun. <laughs> said I was an outspoken enemy of mob rule and a friend to destitute widows. Order! Now that's the kind of thing I do for Skagway. It was a great show, and we just showed you a bit because you have to come enjoy the full experience yourself. All the dancing and singing parts were amazing. Okay, now it's time to keep looking for breweries. I mean, to look for, to keep walking. Yes, that, that's it. Let's keep walking. Oh, baby, look, there's a brewery here. Uh-huh, yeah. So we just happened to walk by Skagway Brewery. So we tried another Alaskan spruce tip beer that was actually brewed here in Skagway. Look how happy she is. But now that she was wasted, it was time for the helicopter ride. So, how you feeling? Yeah. I'm nervous. Why? I'm scared and stressed out. You got this. I don't like heights and close space. And helicopter has two of those. <laughs> All of the above. You got this, baby. Do I? Yeah. I don't know. Because you got no choice. I know. I booked this excursion. It's my fault. <laughs> Did you enjoy your beer? See. Did it help? I needed another one. Okay. I'll get you a beer when we get out of here. You promise? See. Si. Okay. <laughs> if we survive. <laughs> yeah, I was ready to kill Lila's when he said that. But there we were, waiting for our helicopter to come in. And there I was, being the first one to get into the helicopter. Not by choice.
Now maybe it might be hard to see, but Maria was just as excited as I was. Look at her face. Yeah, I couldn't have been placed better for my anxiety. Right by the door with the window that went from my feet to my head. So I could have a full view of what it is to fall from there. Yeah, baby, they wanted to give you that first class view. Now it's time to take off, and it was a bit shaky at first. Yeah, at first, at the middle, at the end, and in between. And it was scary to look down, and to the side, and forward, and everywhere for that matter. Okay, now let me give you a tip. We read a bunch of blogs and learned that the best time to do a helicopter ride in Alaska is in the afternoon, especially for better photos and videos. If you take it in the morning, you take the risk to have to deal with the clouds and the mist around the mountains. But the views were amazing as we flew by Twin Dewey Peaks. All the mountains and the snow were beautiful. The ride was amazing, but before you knew it, we arrived at the Denver Glacier. This is where we were going to do our dog sledding. Um, just so you know, when, you hold it, when you're holding these puppies, be careful. They do have the little sharp claws, little sharp teeth. <laughs> Whitney would love this. Yeah. <laughs> so then the last two dogs are called the wheel dogs. I'm home. <laughs> so we can take like three of them, right? Yes. Okay. Three puppies later on, after we finish. Oh, look at you. You're so fun. Good cashew. I like that. I gotta go. I gotta go. No, I don't. No, I don't. <laughs> Crazy. So, this might be the only vehicle I'll let Maria steer and drive on. Because it has no wheels. I don't know if I'm gonna do this. <laughs> Wish me luck. <laughs> the dogs are ready. Let's go. Vamanos. We love every moment of this, and I was so happy for jumping into the back driver job. I felt so strong using those brakes and supporting the direction. And the dogs were so strong and so cute. The damn sure was strong to pull my 280 pound ass. This excursion was called the Dog Sledding and Glacier Flight Scene by Helicopter, and it cost $585 per person. Most expensive excursion we've ever taken, but it was totally worth it. Okay. Gonna try to wave down the snow machine for ya. It's a little bit easier. Oh, I have a radio. That's what radios are for. There you go. Or her. Her. <laughs> Prueba superada. 
I have no idea what that means, but I'm so proud of her. She got on the helicopter, and how amazing was that ride, though? Yeah, it was great. It was a little bit nerve-wracking at the beginning. When they were closing the door, especially, <laughs> I was like, I can do this. I can do this. Oh, my God, I can do it. No, I have to do it. I have to do it. <laughs> I tapped her. I'm like, I'm so excited. I'm looking like, oh, look, look at it. She's like, like <laughs> not now. <laughs> but it was so cool though. Yeah. Like the helicopter ride was great and the views were amazing. Well you've seen it. Yeah. But then the dog sled. Yeah. Oh. They were so cute and the puppies. The puppies. They were kissing you all over. <laughs> but yeah. This has been a great experience right now. Yeah, definitely. It. If you have never ride road ridden. Yeah, Whatever, a <laughs> helicopter. <laughs> what I would suggest is just do it. It's a scary at the beginning, especially if you have claustrophobia and you know issues Anxieties. like I do. <laughs> but it is totally worth it, and it actually feels much better than in the airplane. I don't know why. It does, but I feel like something could go wrong at any time. I'm not gonna lie about it. Yeah, but I didn't want to think about it. Now the other tip, because you have like clear. Um, down thingy. What's that? Like you could see through. Oh, the, the little windows? Yeah. Okay. All over the helicopter. You can see everything down. So the first time that I looked down, I saw all those huge trees. And I'm like. <laughs> and I was like, don't look down, don't look down. <laughs> so it is true when they say don't look down. <laughs> yeah. For other RVs, this thing is so RV friendly. There's an RV park right here by the dock. Yeah. And it's right next to the town, actually. Yeah, it's like less than five minutes walk into the city or to the little town. No, they're actually pretty much in the city. Once true. you come out the RV park and you turn that corner, what, 10 steps, you're in the yeah. city. It's really nice. Yeah. Like, I'm like, Luffy, we miss you. <laughs> But guys, we had a great time here today. We really hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a like if you enjoyed it. If you love watching us go crazy on a helicopter, doing dog sleds, if you love puppies, you love puppy kisses, give it a like. Who doesn't like puppy kisses? Some people. Nobody. <laughs> Everybody loves puppy kisses. So give it a like. <laughs> Subscribe to Travel More with us. And as always, remember to live the life you want, love the life you live, and travel. Mamuchas. Ah!